Welcome to MGN Trading Tutorial on FreeStockCharts.com This is part 1 The basic tutorial on FreeStockCharts.com FreeStockCharts.com is one of the most important tools that you can actually use in trading because this is your, the software that gives you all the charting that you need to be able to analyze the different stocks that you are watching and then be able to decide which one you would like to play for long or short whatever be the case okay now just to give you the idea of the topics that we're going to cover with this tutorial we're just going to talk about really the best is something that is free right so this charting software is free and it's the best and it's supported by Firefox Internet Explorer not Google because Google dropped already the support of uh, freestockcharts.com not the freestockcharts.com but the Silverlight application of which being used by um, freestockcharts.com it comes with versions free and premium and uh, we start with premium oh not sorry we start with something that is free but I'll show you what's the difference to how to sign up how to sign in what are the different different plot types that you can use what is the default and how to change it what is the default time frame how to change the time frame and how to change the stock symbol and how to be able to save the layout and retrieve the layout that uh, you have set in your setting and how to change the screen mode how to add screen and how to set up your screen so that you'll be able to have complete visibility of four different time frames in a quadrant okay so let's continue and like I said, it's the best free charting software. Who doesn't like to have something that is free, right? Especially when you are new, I think. Utilize what is free. The web's best streaming real-time stock charts. And it's free. Freestockcharts.com uses Silverlight application from Microsoft. Google used to support it with the Google Chrome but eventually just dropped it down I guess it's the rivalry between Google and Microsoft so, but still don't worry you can have the Internet Explorer and the Firefox they can actually be utilized to run the freestockchats.com now freestockcharts.com comes with a free version as well as a premium version the premium version starts with at least 19.99 or 20 dollars us dollars not canadian okay the free ones you don't need credit card to be able to uh, to access it you just have to sign up and you can use it the premium version has the following options like I said it starts with $20 but then if you would like to have a real-time data for US that's an additional $40 and $10 for the indexes and the rest of the other features that you would like to add up I'm not doing that one so okay let's use the what is free right free version has real-time streaming but it's only for New York Stocks Exchange and Nasdaq for Toronto Stocks Exchange and Toronto Stocks Exchange Ventures as well as over-the-counters bulletin boards data are always or data are always delayed and sometimes there's no streaming at all because it's free it has also advertisement it occupies at least one third of your screen or one third of the page of the freestockcharts.com 
what I usually do I cannot avoid that one but um, I just don't like to see them so I use a free ad blocker for Firefox and, in, and uh, Internet Explorer to cancel it out but the space will always remain okay unless you pay for the premium then this advertisement is going to be gone now to be able to utilize the features of the freestockcharge.com you need to sign up with your email address it is free but no worries just sign up create a lot of portfolios and watch list as well let's create a lot of layouts this is what you can get when you sign up so when you sign up just enter your email address the password that you are going to choose and just type whatever you want to type on how did you hear about us things like that then all those boxes that have been checked just leave them as it is okay and create sign in once you start signing in once you have signed up I mean go sign in put on your email address and the password that you had created and the default screen will always be set to a 10 minute time frame and the plot style is set to bar type which I would always change okay and this is how I'm going to show you so first you have this when you type freestockchurch.com in your browser say we have run Firefox already just click run free version because I already signed in automatically it goes straight into your account okay and I already have a list as well now the default here is no longer 10 minutes because I already created this but anyway let's say this is 10 minutes uh, what I'm going to do is just probably pull out the layout which I created for this lesson uh, which I call my layout it's also set already to daily uh, just for the sake uh, we play we set this one into um, 10 minutes and the original plot style is HLC bar right that's it so it's like that just like the default now if you would like to change the the bar type or the plot style to a candlestick all you have to do is just go into the setting you click plot style and choose from the drop down candlestick i use candlestick in all my charts because they can give me more visibility of the actual move of the stocks and it helps me decide the position i would like to take i will explain you more once i'm going to teach you also about candlestick for the time being <coughs> let's stick into how to change the setting all right so how do we do that let's go to our chart so let's find settings go to plot style and then here just choose from the drop down candlestick automatically that change in the candlestick okay and that's about how to change from hlc bar to candlestick
Now, how about the time frame? The time frame, if it is defaulted to 10 minutes and you would like to change it to daily, all you have to do is go into the, the time frame. Okay, choose from the drop down a daily option if you would like to use daily okay choose daily from the drop down and uh, just a reminder for a quick access these are actually the the quick access that you can use if you press one on your keyboard automatically the chart would set itself into a daily time frame if you press or hold the control key and you press one it would set to a one minute time frame if you press control hold the control key and you press number three you'll have a five minute time frame if you hold the control key and then click four you'll have a 15 minute time frame five means weekly okay let's try to experiment that right i have here a 10 minute time frame i can always go right from the drop down and choose the time frame i would like all right say if you look at here one minute the key is control minus one so it means you hold the control key and you add one or you click one it sets to one minute let's try that now I'm holding the control key and I press one there you go I have a one minute chart now if I'm holding the control key and I press control four I have a 15 minute chart if I'm going to press 1 without holding any control keys automatically it says the daily if I press number 5 without holding any control keys it says the weekly alright so that is how you are going to change the time frame but I'll show you some more other settings for which it is easy for you to be able to to have a quick glance of your chart let's go back to our topic how to change the stock symbol if you want to change the stock symbol all you have to do is just double click the center of the chart and then start typing whatever symbol that you would like to access okay let's try that now I'm back to my screen I'll double click on the screen right now we have a symbol MOMO -O. so I just double click it I want to look at Facebook all I have to do is just click or type F B and then I have here a series of drop uh, a series of options from the drop down so I have Facebook I can select that press uh, when you select it automatically it says the Facebook okay, let's let's try another one because I'm already um, because my cursor is actually set on the screen I don't need to double click it again all I have to do is just type the symbol that I would like to look at let's say for example I would like to look at the company AMD okay all I have to do is just write A M D advanced micro devices I can press enter or, or I can click from the drop down Okay, I'll press enter there you go we got an EMD stock symbol 
that is right before our eyes. Oh, by the way, I just would like to let you know that in between the chart and the volume, okay, there is, uh, it seems that it defaults always to like a one half spacing, so one half for the for the candlestick chart and one half for the volume. I don't need a very long space or a wide space for the volume, so what I'm going to do is just space it out. Oops, I'm not moving all right here. Okay, so what's happening sometimes there's just too much spacing on the volume side all I have to do is just click the space in between the candlestick chart and the volume okay space and then hold your left mouse button and then drag it down so that way you'll have more space for your chart for your candlestick chart and then on the volume you don't need a, a, a long space or how do you call this a bigger space for your uh, volume okay so that's about changing the stock symbol you can experiment on that one Let's continue with our topic. How to save our layout. Because once we have set up our own uh, layout, you would like to keep that layout all the time, right? And you need to retrieve that. And sometimes also when you want to, to email that layout so that you can use that layout as a template that becomes so easy once you're able to save it right so this is how you're going to do it just click a file then click save us so when you click save us it will prompt you the name of the layout and then type whatever name you would like to put in and you click OK and that will save actually your layout. Want to try it out? Okay, let's go to our main freestockchart.com. So I will go to File, Save As. Okay, hold on. File, Save As, and it prompts me. Because I already saved my layout, I'll just do my layout too okay you can do something like that you click ok and now it is saved so how do you retrieve it all you have to do is just go open layout oh as you can see i got lots of layout that have been saved here already so, can go to my layout too which the which was the one that we just saved now it usually prompt you to save the current layout but since I already saved it I just click no okay and that's about the layout let's go back again to our topic retrieving the layout I already told you how to be able to do that the screen mode okay screen mode has an expanded view and a normal view now the purpose of this one is just to be able to have a better uh, you know a better picture of your chart so let's try to take a look at uh, our main chart we'll go back here If you notice this one, 
this particular icon it's it's actually telling you restore to normal view if I click that I will have now a visibility of my watch list I have created already a watch list which you can also create your own watch list okay here I don't need to type let's say for example I have EMD all I have to do is just click here and automatically change to okay if there are companies which is not on your list and you would like to type it double click on the center of the screen let's say for example um, I'm looking for uh, oh okay BB let's go back to the main topic <laughs> we're out of the topic now but okay this is for full screen and if you click it back it goes back to the normal view the normal view is when you have your watch list and your chart if you want to have a good visibility of your chart say click expand or full screen now I have a full screen so it, it looks nicer I'll have a better picture on Facebook here if I click it again I have my list and then I have the chart all right you can experiment on that one okay just to give you a, a little idea you want to create your own watch list just click new but new watch list oops I didn't write sorry new watch list click OK then all you have to do is just write the symbols that uh, you would like to, to watch the example Facebook, Twitter, Starbucks, Cineplex, Scotia SQM this is one of the mining company which mines uh, lithium this is lithium is actually one of the current hot topic in the industry because you know our automobiles is actually gearing up to be going out from the the how do you call this the oil and gas thing so they're moving into the battery and you know all the sort of other new uh, new ways of putting energy to use so and lithium is one of the main source for making these batteries so if you are able to if you are able to get a good part of all these mining industries which make or produce all this uh, lithium I guess you are in the best position to be able to make good money also on this one especially when the boom comes when most of the automobiles later on will not be running with gasoline but will be running with electricity and batteries okay so <clears throat> it's up to you
take a look at that I'm adding that one on my list <laughs> alright so that is how you are going to add list and again if you want to expand your screen just click this one again chart full screen and then re-click it it goes back to the normal view good let's continue adding more screen tabs alright sometimes when you trade it's always good to have a visibility of at least four different time frames at one glance at one glance because at least you'll be able to picture out right away of where the stock is heading okay this is an example i have set up a screen shot of which uh, i have a one minute 15 minute a daily and a weekly time frame all at one glance okay and <clears throat> in order to be able to create this you need to create first four screens one screen is for your one minute the other screen is for your 15 minute and the other screen is for your daily time frame and the last one is for your weekly time frame how do we do that simple so let's go back to our free stock chart.com let's expand the screen you see the default is 10 minutes right what we're going to do is change this into one minute so now I have a one minute chart I will click again a new tab and I will set this one to 15 minutes the plot style I will use candlestick click OK now I have one minute and 15 minutes I will add again oh, by the way just change the sizing of your chart okay click again another tab new tab change the time this time I want daily and the plot style is still the same that would be candlestick click OK Okay, resize the volume space now last screen change the time frame to weekly the plot style is candlestick click OK resize the volume space okay if you look at here you have actually one minute 15 minutes daily and weekly sometimes it's so hustle to be clicking one tab to another just to be able to look at how your stock is moving right so how do we reconcile that one so that we are going to have a complete picture right away with four time frames in one setting simple you see we have here this particular icon or button okay this is the quadrant button when you click it it positions all the screens that you have created one minute the 15 minute daily and a weekly into a quadrant 
position. Now all you have to do is just resize this one, move, <coughs> move this blue uh, scroll and then <coughs> it resizes the chart. Same here with your 15 minute, same also with your 1 minute. And there you go, I have a complete picture of <coughs> Facebook in this uh, particular chart. So I have one minute chart, a 15 minute chart, and a daily chart, and a weekly chart for this particular symbol. Now, all I have to do if I'm going to change <coughs> another company or another symbol either I'm going to double click one of this screen and type let's say ERP it gives me the different time frames also for AMD okay now like I said if you go into restoring the normal view you'll have your watch list say I want to see what's Twitter is going on what's going on with Twitter so I click this one from my watch list now I only have a very limited space so what I'm going to do is expand or click the full screen mode there you go okay. try to experiment on this one so that you can uh, you get accustomed to how to use this freestockchart.com let's go back to our topic and that is where everything ended on the basic tutorial I'm going to be teaching you later on with <coughs> the, how to use the drawing tools how to be able to set up some of those uh, indicators but that would go into the next uh, part of our tutorial okay for now enjoy and just be acquainted with your newly signed up freestockchart.com have a good one guys and take care. Bye bye.